Would you like to talk about your government contracts? What are you talking about? This company's received some government contracts in the past. Would Who like, are you? Would you like to discuss this? Who I'm, are you? I'm just a photographer. Do you have a press pass? I'm just Mitchell, just here to cool. talk to you. Your first name again? I never gave it to you to begin with. Okay. Yeah. All right. I don't know why you said again. Hello, welcome to this installment of First Amendment Rights. Today I'll be checking out this government contractor and a First Amendment audit from the public sidewalk today. See if my right to record in public, yeah, other photo and video will be respected. Stay tuned, we'll see how things go. Audio video surveillance on duty at all times. Office over here, some inside there, and some work on the computer. He's got the shades partially drawn. Some of the other windows have the shades completely closed along the other side. I noticed over on that side of the building. The best way to create your privacy is to close your uh, window coverings if you don't want to be seen from outside, if you are indoors. And since this is a, a government contracted location, I will be putting the uh, number of contracts and the dollar amount in the captions below in today's video. I'm already taking notice, there are mounted outside pointed in this direction over here so they're doing their fair share of recording as well as I am today doesn't look like much to see inside from this vantage point looks like flammable goods over here looks like maybe some propane tanks Closing these uh, window shades now. He comes and closes the corner one there. There he goes, drawing the shades on all the windows. Can't see in. Oh, no thanks, you're good. Appreciate it though. What are you doing? I'm oh, just making a video. Making a video of what? Of your company right now. And why? Would you like to talk about your government contracts? What are you talking about? This company's received some government contracts in the past. Would Who like, are you? Would you like to discuss this? Who I'm, are you? I'm just a photographer. Do you have a press pass? Don't need one. You don't need one. No, we all have freedom of press in this America. This is private property. This isn't a government facility. This is a public sidewalk, actually, where I'm standing, and I'm aware that that's a private property. Okay. Haven't been on your private property. All right, I'll talk to the police, and we'll see what we can do with it. They're not going to do anything. Would you like some information about the law so you don't waste your time? I have some information right here for you, sir. I have some information right here for you, sir. All right, prefer to hear it from them, that's okay. Yeah, we all have freedom of press under the First Amendment in America. So he is threatening to call the police. 
Let's see what happens. And the lady uh, that was with the two gentlemen there, she just ducked around the corner, pulled her phone out so she might be the one who's calling. But I might be playing the waiting game here for a bit. See if police do show up. If they do, great. If not, that's fine. I'll still conduct my business as I'm doing out here on the public sidewalk, as I pointed out. There he is. Yeah, he's on his phone for sure. Peekaboo. I just waved at him and he ducked inside. And they do have their signage posted out here on the fence. Also warning that they do have 24-7 surveillance. That's fine, that's the right to record on their property. It's my right to record out here in public. They're closing up the gate now. Did you call the police? Educate you over the phone? Are the police coming? No comment? All right. So they just closed their gate there. Let's see if they put their uh, rolling door down here in just a minute or not. Planes flying overhead there. Heading on over to the airport. And it's been about 10 minutes now since uh, the city was going to call the police. Came back out and locked up their gate. Never had any intentions of going on their property, so if that makes them feel safer, then so be it, you know. That's the right to do so. Their uh, rolling doors still open. I'll be out here for a while longer, just waiting to see if uh, law enforcement will show up. So we got two units rolling up here. Good afternoon. How are you? Hi. How's it going? Good. Mitchell, just here to cool. talk to you. Your first name again? I never gave it to you to begin with. Okay. Yeah. All right. I don't know why you said it again. Well, I, I've spoken to you a bit in the past. Oh, okay. And another call, I, I forgot oh. your first name. One wanted to oh, okay. be courteous. I don't so. think I gave it then either. Okay. All right. Yeah. Um, I'm going to go speak and to you. who are you? Officer Mitchell. Name, uh, badge number is 1096? Yes. And can I get your name and badge number, sir? Officer Peterson, 1374. Thank you. As long as you give him a little enlightenment on the public photography, because uh, he seemed ill-informed about that. Do appreciate you showing up. You bet. Hello. Time for a little education. While they're in there, I'm going to head across the street here. See if they left the computer screens up or not. on the window, the glare, it's a little hazy so I can't really see much. Let me check the other one out. One's up as well. 
Maybe a word to the wise for the uh, police department that closed your screens. You know, on some occasions they've been good about that, but today, uh, not so much. Any questions for us? No. Is there? Oh, actually, yeah. Is there an incident number for this? Sure. Could I? Would could you I like get a card? The, uh, if you just want to say it okay. to the camera, it's fine. One ten. Can you get the incident number? I'm write it down so I don't mess it up. Sure. No worries. How's your guys' day going? Not too bad. Good so far. Yeah. It's not hot. Yeah. It's nice, nice change of weather. Transitional springtime. It's kind of drizzling last night or early this morning. Oh, okay. Whatever you want to call it. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so the incident number is 2304120074. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Cool, got it. All right. Awesome, thanks. We appreciate it. Be safe. Yeah, for Hopefully sure. You guys as well. you stay dry. I don't know. What's yeah, gonna... <laughs> clouds are looking pretty yeah. dark out there, for so, sure. Yeah, but for sure. Who knows? Yeah. All right. All right. Cool. Have a good one. Thanks for being professional and courteous. You bet. Nice, there we go, we had two units roll up. Looks like they're having a little meeting inside there. I'll be out here just for a few more minutes. It doesn't appear that I was ran out of here just for them showing up. There we go, heading off on the more pressing issues now. And I honestly don't recall speaking to Officer Mitchell in the past. But uh, if I did, I definitely never gave my first name. It's on a very rare occasion that I do, but I would be about 99.9% .9 sure that I never did. All right, guys, I'm gonna go and wrap this one up now. It's been about 10 minutes since law enforcement left the vicinity. They were courteous and professional. As always with Tustin PD, happy to see that. The only suggestion I would make if any of them are watching is uh, to maybe close your screens in your patrol cars. So any vital information isn't seen by the public unless you want it to be. Thank you for watching guys. Be sure to subscribe to First Amendment Rights on YouTube. Like and share the videos. You can also follow First Amendment Rights on Facebook and Instagram. Again, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Till then, have a great day, evening, wherever you're at. Take care. Bye-bye.